What is going on Diablo fans, Dobrensky here, and today's video is going to be a very quick one covering the patch notes for Diablo 2 Resurrected Season 4. Gonna be entirely honest here, there's not a lot of exciting changes in this blog post, and I kind of get it. At this point, Diablo 2 is sort of entering maintenance mode, it's really kind of obvious at this point, but a couple of the small specific changes in this blog post will have a fairly profound impact on a few different select characters. So I thought it'd be worthwhile making a video. But again, guys, let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for these upcoming changes, you don't really care, or you're kind of just putting most of your focus towards Diablo 4. With that being said, let's jump in. So the first significant change to note here is that players will now have four additional character slots across all online modes. I'm never going to criticize having extra character slots. If you have to choose between deleting a character to start a new character for a new league, that's pretty bad in my opinion for any ARPG game across the board. Now with that being said, if you actually look at the size of a character file, like a single player character file, it's pretty small. There might be differences across the server. I don't really know. I'm not going to kind of pretend like I know everything behind the scenes, but you would think it'd be possible to just give players like almost infinite selection but again that's neither here nor there but again four additional character slots is a positive thing now they did also note here that for the first time a ladder character switching to non-ladder will now have the ability to reset skill and stat points you basically get your akara skill respects again when you move from ladder to non-ladder they're stating that it's to encourage players to experiment with their builds i mean it's not really that difficult to get a respect token not a bad thing, but again, it's not really a significant change. And then just below that, they have here that all chat lobbies have been outfitted with an automated system which will remove malicious messages from those conversations. So this is mostly directed towards that very annoying spam bot garbage. Players have actually commented that they've run out of people to mute to try and stop this like spam bot garbage that's in the chat. So this is actually a positive change. So moving on to some quality of life updates and bug fixes. Again, they're not really massive changes, but I do think they have relatively profound impact on a couple characters. Now the first change is kind of a little bit muddy wording in my opinion, but it states the next hit delay system now only applies to missiles created by casting the same skill. So again, muddy wording, but my understanding is that the next hit delay mechanic it's still going to apply to each individual skill. So just using the Druid for an example here, previous to these patch notes, if you were to cast Volcano and one of those boulders did damage from Volcano, there's a certain next hit delay window that would cancel out damage from other skills like Fisher. It's my understanding that they've changed this so that that next hit delay window still applies to the individual Volcano skill, but it will not cancel out other skills like Fisher. So in theory, you should be able to teleport around as a Fire Druid, drop Fisher and Volcano in the same spot, and they won't cancel each other out but that next hit delay window will still apply to each individual skill. So it's essentially a mechanic that was applied to prevent particular skills from not doing a ton of extra damage. Now this obviously will have ramifications for making certain characters stronger, like the martial arts mosaic assassin. We'll make that build stronger. It'll make the fire druid stronger, but it's not really going to affect a lot of other characters like the Nova Sorcerers, for example. So again, interesting change. I know a lot of people might not be happy about the possibility of a mosaic assassin being tuned up, but, um, it is what it is, at least for the fire druid, I think it's a positive change. And moving on to a set change. I'm not gonna criticize this change because I think any change to set items is good because they're not really largely used, but they remove the knockback from the two-handed BK sword to make it less clunky for a melee character to use. So this is a nice change, but I kind of think it's weird targeted change. There's other sets that I think would benefit more from a buff to be on par with rune words, like the IK set for the Barbarian, Alder set for the Druid, Natalia set for the Assassin, Trang set for the Necro. There are other sets I think are more deserving of being modified and improved, but again, more change always a good thing. Next major point here is that the Druids are now able to shapeshift directly between werewolf and werebear form, and the intention here was to make Metamorphosis not quite as clunky of a rune word because it was honestly pretty clunky before. If you're running around as a wolf, striking to get Mark of the Wolf, shapeshifting to bear, striking to get Mark of the Bear, and then shapeshifting back to a werewolf was a very clunky experience. So I do think this is improved quality of life. And I feel like I'm shouting into a void here, but I've asked this before. I'm going to ask again, but why can shapeshifting builds not teleport? And why are shapeshifting builds not able to cast Battle Lords or Battle Command when you're in werewolf or werebear form? Again, that's more quality of life that I think would encourage more build diversity. This is a nice change, but it's not really going to, in my opinion, incentivize people to play World for Were Bear. Now, moving on to the fourth point here. Assassin's Trap skills now benefit from plus elemental damage skill modifiers. This is interesting. So Griffins will now apply additional plus damage from the plus lightning skill. So I think that's a positive change. And then just down here, they said they fixed an issue where Assassin's Traps weren't benefiting from negative res on offline play. This was a change of previous patch where negative res on items would only work on online assassins, not offline assassins, so that's nice to see. A couple other 
minor bug fixes here, but there's not too much more that I think is worthwhile covering in this video. I mean, it's a lot of stuff like fixed a graphical issue or a connection issue or an audio queue with Amazons, etc. There's a whole bunch here that you guys can read through. There's some changes to improve modding, but overall, I think in general, any change that we get for Diablo 2 Resurrected moving forward is a positive thing because like I mentioned at the start of the video, I really do genuinely believe that D2R is in maintenance mode and most of the focus is going to be put towards Diablo 4 moving forward and I think that makes sense. There's going to be way more people playing Diablo 4 than Diablo 2. Now with that being said, I do think there's a couple minor changes that the devs could implement that wouldn't require a lot of resources but would really shake things up. One example is just changing the bases that current existing room words can roll into. They've done this before where we can now roll insight in a bow and it made Act 1 rogues a lot more useful. There's so many other examples where this could be implemented. Just take a high-end powerful room word and then allow it to roll in a different base for different build opportunities. Like what about beast and a sword? You could then have an Act 5 mercenary wielding a beast for fanaticism aura which might be an alternative to the standard reaper's toll mercenary. So you kind of get where I'm going here just small simple changes that I think would have a pretty profound impact that don't really require a lot of resources but with that being said guys just let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this blog update if you're excited you're not excited you don't care you're gonna be playing the ladder you're not gonna be playing the ladder you're just gonna be focused on Diablo 4 any feedback is welcome uh, as long as you're not a dick and other than that hopefully you enjoy the video and I'll catch you guys on my next live stream or my next YouTube video peace out Love.